Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play the Master Levels for Doom 2. I'm Ultima Mantoid. We are tackling the fourth out of five Doctor Sleep maps, and I'm kind of excited for this one. We're going to be heading into Gurion. And unfortunately, there is no story for Gurion or anything past Nessus, really. There was nothing written by Doctor Sleep, unfortunately. The story pretty much ends there for our heroes at Nessus. However, Gurion is a chimera representing fraud. He's also called by Virgil to transport them to the Eighth Circle. That's all we know, and that's the end of it. However, I will at least tell you the story behind Dante's Gate, the first episode, or the first canto done by Dr. Sleep. After all this wackiness at the UAC base, you have lost your lady friend, Beatrice. How the two of you ever got separated is no great mystery, what with all those demons and devils running about, but you're damned if you're going to go through hell for nothing. The only other survivor besides yourself and Beatrice is Virgil, the beatnik space poet. He last saw Beatrice by one of the warp gates. Chances are she made it through. But what's on the other side? Only one way to find out. You'll have to go through Dante's gate. And that's where our heroes started their adventure. I would say journey, but I don't know if that's a journey. It's definitely an adventure. So, with that, we are going to begin Gurion. Takes place on map 8. Make sure you pick up all of the uh, health and armor bonuses up here that you can. Because you're probably going to need them at the start. Make sure you prioritize shotgunners at the very beginning. Because you don't get you don't really get any armor early on. There's a shotgunner right there around the corner. Now this map is incredibly non-linear, so I'm going to be running back and forth between several places a couple times. Alright, speaking of, here's your first place that you're going to end up doubling back. Open this wall up, kill the shotgunners. Now, carefully, do not let that cacodemon get away. Use the chain gun to just kind of stun him there. Notice that there is a super shotgun by that dead body. Leave the mancubus for now. And since you won't be coming back through here, might as well pick everything up. Make sure you clear off the top section. If you're careful about how, you know, you look down and everything, you can just walk around this edge and pick off all the imps. What I would recommend, if you're capable of doing it, line yourself up. Don't drop down. I mean, you can drop down. You'll get out just fine. But that keeps you from taking any damage. If you're not, don't worry, you're not gonna die. Unless you're like, you know, super low health, and then I'm sorry. Alright, so make a quick lap around. Open this wall. You will drop down onto the super shotgun. There is a revenant and a specter around the corner. Thanks, buddy. Good old revenant. Took out the specter for me. Make sure that you pick up everything in this area. See how it all kind of ties together over there? Only way out of this area is back through here, so make sure you uh, make sure you get everything. You can run through there and pick that up. I would recommend doing so. Come through the door. Grab your chain gun. And just get ready. We have a sort of uh, E1M7-esque area up here. And there's this make it around the corner, so just, you know, be ready to dodge and weave. 
Fuck you. Yep, there it is. I couldn't remember which wall it was. If you bump it just right, you'll pick up your first armor. And to open it, you have to use this side. I couldn't remember what side it was you used. Speaking of, here's your secret. Now, be very careful through here. I'm trying to remember what was up through here. That doesn't open yet. So you want to come through here. Now, it looks like we're at an impasse. Drop down. Run around. Run around. Make sure you can get back up. I think you can go in from either side. But with that switch pressed, we can now get the blue key. And now we can go back. And just go all the way through here. We'll open this door. Okay, this map may not be as, as non-linear as I remember. It's been a little bit since I was working on these maps, to be completely honest with you guys. You can just hop to those, but once you drop down, you can't climb back up. So you have to take the teleport. That one will lead you all the way back here. So. This one, however, will just take you here. Which is also very far back. Hey, look! We're back at the beginning. Again. Press that and quickly back up, by the way. Or you'll die. You can open either side. It doesn't matter. Run back across. I prefer just going back and doing all of that. You don't have to... Yeah. I mean, you, you can kind of do this map in however order you feel comfortable. You can come this way first. Make sure you have your BFG here. Because uh, two revenants in close quarters kind of hurts. Run across... To the other side and get your BFG back out probably should have never put it away to begin with see those will just help you out the middle is what you want to open one BFG shot will clear most of this room Those switches will lower these elevators. Now, you want to be quick here. Press this, and run around. You can go in, and like I said, it takes you back up here. So, we're going to go back. Wait, where? I went the wrong way. Oh, well. I mean, it, it is non-linear, but once you know where you're going, it really doesn't feel like it is. Then we have the other one, which you have to do the same. Press it, and then just quickly run around. Now this one is a little bit difficult. Just a little bit. Although you have a BFG, you might as well use it on the big bastard. Grab the Megasphere, press the switch, run into the teleport. And literally, just let these guys do the fighting for you. I 
If you got plenty of health, just tank all the hits. You don't have to save the BFG for the ending. But considering there's an arch file up there, it helps. There you are. I mean, there's plenty of ammo, like big ammo, throughout this map, so don't feel like you have to be scared to not use any. And that's Gurion. I really like the atmosphere to this one, especially the sort of silverish white area that I went to towards the beginning. Like, how it's kind of open and there's, it's like a path. And then you have the area that's kind of in the middle that's almost like a secret, but it's not. I like little things like that. It's it's neat visual detail. Especially where the Kakademon can just kind of go down the side of the, the, the side of the path and he can like kind of disappear from view. I like stuff like that. Anyway, uh, this map isn't as as non-linear as I remember it being but it's still got that feel of it's like you have to explore and this one kind of goes against Dr. Sleep's normal design as well to a little bit of an extent I mean there's still some Dr. Sleep in there but most of the stuff that isn't really quote unquote Dr. Sleep design is mostly towards the beginning areas um, with the, the sort of outdoor area, how it's very uh, unique in its shape and how it flows and the area towards the beginning where um, I snuck around that back path that I was just talking about. It's great. This is a fun map. It's not overly difficult. It doesn't have to be overly difficult. It's just a very standard, very enjoyable map and this is one that I, I keep finding myself being drawn back to. So, I highly recommend this one. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Ultimate Mantoid, and this is Let's Play the Master Levels for Doom 2. Till next time, take care, and have fun.